Well, if you were hoping that Apple would bring back SlideOver to iPadOS 26, you will not be disappointed. SlideOver has returned to iPadOS 26 in beta form, and we should see this come to the public version very soon. Hey everyone, Tech Dad here, and if you don't know what SlideOver is, it was a feature that's been around in iPadOS for a really long time, and it allowed you to pin another app on top of your other apps. So when you were using multiple windows, you could have one app that you could slide in and out as you please, which made it very easy to access and put away. And people loved this, and so they were really angry when Apple got rid of it in iPadOS 26. There was tons of negative feedback, and so it looks like Apple heard us and brought this feature back finally. And actually, they've made it better than it was before, so now you have extra features with SlideOver that you can do, and it makes your windowing and productivity work just that much easier. And so in this video, I want to talk about how they brought SlideOver back, how you can access it and start start using it and the ways that slide over is actually better than it was before. All right. Let's get into it. Okay, so first let's talk about how to access SlideOver in iPadOS 26. So you have the stoplight buttons and you can press and hold to get some windowing control. Well, now you'll see there is a button to start SlideOver and you can tap that and the window will instantly transform and you'll see a little glass rim go around that window and now that app is pinned as SlideOver and will function accordingly. And so now with SlideOver, you can quickly flick the app away and it will just disappear to the left of the screen or the right depending on where you have the app located. And when you want it back, you just swipe from that side of the screen and it will reappear. It's very convenient and quick, which is why people loved it. But in addition, now you can resize your slide over app to different sizes. So this was not available before. The app was pretty much pinned as one size. Well, now you can change the size. You can slide it around just like any other window. It won't take up the whole screen, obviously, but it will still be resizable, which is really cool. And there are so many use cases for this. So a lot of you know I am a social studies teacher. And so I love to create teaching content on my iPad for my students. And so let's say I'm going to teach a lesson on the pyramids of Giza. So maybe I want to start by taking some notes so I can pull up the notes app and put that app in slide over. And then I can start doing my research. So maybe I want to pull up Safari while I have my notes on top. This is great. So I can start to search about the pyramids. I can find videos that I want. I can copy and paste links into my notes and I can copy and paste text into my notes and the notes app stays on top of Safari. So it's great because I can use Safari, but the Notes app doesn't jump behind it because I've touched another window. So it's really nice just to have that app stationary no matter what else I'm doing on the screen. All right, so let's say I've captured my notes and now I want to start making a PowerPoint presentation. But maybe I'm going to need some photos for my PowerPoint presentation. Well, I can open the Files app and then pin it with Slide Over. And I can move my Slide Over window around and then I can start to grab images and drag them into a folder that I've created. It's very easy and I love this because I can touch Safari and drag it over to the Files app and nothing changes. Files just stays right where it is and it makes dragging and dropping very simple. Once I'm done with that, I can pull up PowerPoint and I can move the slide over window around and drag my images in. PowerPoint will come up with that automatic creator to help your slides look more professional. I can move the slide over window around and access that creator feature. It's really nice to be able to interact with PowerPoint behind your pinned window. You can just slide that window away when you don't need it so you can see the whole PowerPoint application and bring it back very quickly. This also works if you have multiple apps on the screen. So in the old days, you could put two apps side by side and then have slide over on top. You can absolutely do that. So if I wanted Safari beside PowerPoint and then I wanted to bring in the files or the notes app, I could absolutely do that. So let's say I wanna bring my notes app up to grab the text and put it into PowerPoint. Easy peasy to do it and if I wanted to go back to Safari and grab more text, it's back there. So this is a really powerful and great way to get productivity done on the iPad. I'm so glad that they brought SlideOver back. You have to try it once it becomes available to the public. So remember, this is only on the developer beta right now. It's not available for public release yet, but it will be coming out with iPadOS 26.1. So hang in there for this feature. Let me know if you have questions about SlideOver and how else you can use it. Leave a comment below. I'm happy to help you out. That's all I got for you. If you like this sort of content, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.